In 1966, at the beginning of the Black Power movement in this country, the St. Petersburg government had on the wall of the city hall itself an eight by four foot mural that was a racialized caricature of black people. This is the mural that we are talking about. After warning them over and over again that they should remove that mural because it was symbolic of the relationship that existed between Africans and white people in this country, after telling them that we did not want to see a mural that caricaturized African people with elongated arms and superimposed big white lips all over their faces and that it should be removed on December 29, 1966. I walked into that city uh, hall and tore the mural from the wall. And there were six of us who were eventually arrested for that. Now, the, after 50 years, the city of St. Petersburg has decided they're going to replace that mural. They waited long enough. They thought it was safe to put something up there without any kind of uh, opposition, but they were wrong. They didn't have a right to replace that mural, offering a $10,000 bounty to somebody who comes up with the best piece of artwork that spoke to the conditions and events that led to the mural being removed and that uh, proved that somehow that the city had changed so much that there was all this inclusivity, as they put it, of black people and this great improvement in civil rights in this city. That's a lie. How could they even do that without even talking to me, without even mentioning the five other people who was with me who tore that mural down? We were the fundamental art critics that responded to that mural being up on the wall. In 1966, we can say it was a precursor to Charlie Hebdo that happened in Paris, uh, France, and uh, it was a part of a whole movement of people who are colonized to say that you don't define us anymore. White people, white power, we define ourselves. Put it up again, we'll take it down again. Uh, hooray! 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 50 years ago, Chairman O'Malley Escher Teller tore down a mural that hung here in St. Pete, Florida. The mural showed us African people with racial depiction as tame savages, entertaining white colonizers. The mural showed African people serving. Tear down! Tear down! Tear down! Tear down! Tear it down! This is how they treat Africans. Tear it down. We're taking control of the mural. If they put anything up there that we don't choose, we're tearing it down. Chairman O'Malley Escher Teller tore it down 50 years ago, and he'll tear it down again. They're not going to depict us as these monkeys that are here just to entertain them. Fuck City Hall, we're going to tear it down. Uhuru. Uhuru. Yeah. Uhuru. If we don't get it, Uhuru. if we don't get it, Uhuru. if we don't get it, tear it down. We don't tear it down. We don't get it, tear it down. We don't get it, tear it down. We don't get it, tear it down. Himself. Why can't we help 
Sell out police chief right there. Don't care nothing about the black community. He don't do whatever white people say. Sell out police. A who A who Fifty years ago, Chairman O'Malley asked to tell a tore down a mural that hung here in City Hall. A mural, a racial depiction and characterization of African people as tame savages entertaining white colonizers. That mural showed African people serving white people, dancing for white people, eating watermelon and fried chicken for white people. The mural that hung showed that African people only exist to entertain and serve white people. Chairman O'Malley asked Chitella tore it down and said, I'm going to take this mural back to the black community and let's see what they have to say about it. A whole row! A whole row! A whole row! A whole row! Because of his heroic act, Chairman O'Malley asked Chitella and his comrades, Tommy Williams, John Bryan, Lemuel Green, Crawford Jones, Joseph Wall were abused by the pigs and arrested and sent to jail. Chairman O'Malley Yeshitella spent years in prison for tearing down this racist mural that hung here at City Hall that offended the African community with no apology from the state, with no accountability from City Hall. Fifty years later, this oppressive City Hall still locks up Africans, kills Africans, throws us away, economically abuses us, and now is gentrifying our neighborhoods and are pushing us out of our community. A whole row. A whole row. Fist up. Fight, Fight back. back. Get these pigs off our back. City Hall still thinks nothing of African people in St. Pete. Because of this, they are now reaching out to exclusive artists and universities, but are not reaching out to the original people that were arrested, the people that sacrificed their lives so we as African people can be here today, so I can exist today. You need to ask those people that were arrested. You need to ask Chairman O'Malley Yeshitella, a whole row. A whole row. John Bryan, a whole row. A whole row. Samuel Green, a whole row. A whole row. John Joseph, a whole row. A whole row. Joseph Wall, a whole row. A whole row. You need to ask them. You need to ask Chairman O'Malley Yeshitella what to hang up on that wall. And they need an apology for spending years in prison for fighting for their rights. A whole row. A whole row. A whole row. A whole row. St. Peter's not diverse. St. Peter's not equal. St. Pete, like every other city in the United States of America, is oppressed by white colonizers. A whole row. A whole row. We are here today to remind St. Pete and to remind City Hall that the Africans in St. Pete ain't nothing to fuck with. Ain't oh, nothing to fuck with. A whole row. A whole row. We demand black community control of the mural. A whole row. A whole row. And if we don't like it, shut it down. If we don't chose it, shut it down. And if we don't chose it, shut it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear that motherfucker down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear that motherfucker down. Ain't no good. Arrest the police. Arrest the police. Arrest the police. Arrest the police. A whole row. E Africa. E Africa. E the way to. Black community control of the mural. If there's going to be a mural that's put there, then it's going to happen as a consequence of black people, the black community ourselves, saying what should be on that mural. Not handpicked Negroes uh, from the city, but the black community itself. And as the person who was the art critic that's made it response, made it possible and necessary for that mural to come down, then they got to talk to me before they can put anything back up there.